First hole at Boundary Oaks. Most people might know it because there's water in front. You got to elevate your ball, but it is a dog leg right. Sorry, I missed my holder for this vlog, so there's going to be some unique angles, but I tried my best to document it. Turned the corner, had just a wedge into this green, and you know, I'll take this for a miss. I missed out right, didn't film it, kind of moving fast on the first hole. Ended up with a bogey, really, really fun opening hole. The second hole is probably just as fun. A downhill par three that always plays super, super enjoyable. I just went right at the green, um, right over the front bunker with a nine iron. And one thing you should know is when you, the pin is in that left corner, everything runs down. It's hard to stop the ball, and I actually bogeyed that as well. The, the par fives on the front nine are very gettable from the white tees, probably not so much from the blues. I took an aggressive line and actually cut the corner just based on the line I was going on because I trusted my driver a lot. And it actually gave me a seven iron into a par five, which was a pretty sick feeling. And I kind of roped that one as well. I caught it a little thin to win, and it got all the way up to the front front fringe. It was right on line with the pin, just not enough just had too much faith in what I was capable of doing. And then this was my chip for Eagle. And basically gave myself a very easy birdie putt. The greens at this course are very difficult. The architecture is all right, but I'd say that you're mostly playing for the conditions and the greens. This, I was trying to work on my Audra Kepler uh, driving lesson that I got about keeping my hands low and whenever I do what I'm supposed to do I always hit a low uh, slice and that was perfect for this shot left myself once again with a seven iron and then my shoulder alignment was pretty friggin bad so I pulled that right into a tree and gave myself a unique shot but I think what's interesting about this course is it has uh, good challenges off the tees it kind of challenges you in good approach shots Hit a really good wedge right here. This was a very, very tricky shot. I had to fly it over a bunker, and I never quite got the speed of the greens, and I actually made that putt. I wish I had have filmed it. It was so sick. Then we come back with another par 5, and I just got a tad bit unlucky in terms of accuracy because this is a blind downhill par 5, and if I had to hit the fairway, I think I would have had like a buck 30 into the par 5 with that how my ball was going but I guess I hit the lip of this bunker and by doing so I had to hit a nine iron out and then I from that I had just another nine iron so I went driver nine iron nine iron into this par five which was pretty crazy and not the best approach but it wasn't terrible pretty straightforward hole it's pretty gettable it's just straight downhill one bunker to the right and then there's a slight hazard to your left as you can see, this is kind of a straightforward golf course that has a lot of um, great conditions. That's what the greens play like, and I actually made that, even if people don't believe me. Caught this thin off the tee, which is not the sickest feeling going uphill, but it ran all the way to the back of the green. Now, this will show you kind of how fast the greens are. I didn't even really hit that, and didn't get to the hole, but you don't want these downhill putts getting away from you. This was probably my best drive of the day. I just roped that one on a great line, put it right over that bunker. This hole, it's all about position on the green, and I think that's a great way of looking at boundary is getting yourself on the right side of the hole. You never want to be above the hole because it's going to be hard to stop the ball. Sorry for this camera angle. I had a sand wedge in. I just hit it too good. I was in between numbers. This is probably, if I were to play it again, I don't play boundary very often, I'd really think about playing to a number off the tee didn't play this high enough and that's just how fast the greens are it just got away from me and that was a three putt and that's just how tough boundary is this eighth hole is probably a fan favorite for the locals it's a drivable par four i did my best to kind of try to drive it i was a little reckless with it i think actually playing this hole messed up my driver swing for a little bit because i really swung out of my boots on it and i kind of started going a little bit too much to the right but it's about 210 carry over the full bit of the water. And uh, I was left with like a 30-yard pitch with a 58-degree wedge. Gave myself a good attempt, but couldn't make the putt. And that was kind of the story of this day. And that's been the story of my rounds lately is I just can't make the putts. 
Ninth hole, it's obviously a really hard shot shape for me. It's a right to left draw that they want you to hit. I hit the super slice because everyone knows that's what you got to do when you have a draw hole. Left myself in good position. Once again, from the white tee boxes, boundary feels like an exhibition of nine irons. There is a bunch of water towards the green. So it's hidden and it's all uphill. So be aware of that if that's your first time playing it. And then I thought I made that. But once again, with fast greens and boundary has fast greens, be sure to play extra break. 10 and 11 are my two favorite holes on the course. 10 is one of my favorites of all time. It's just a straight downhill par four. And it's got a bunch of bunkers around it. But really you're looking at a driver and then like a lob wedge or a sand wedge. And that's a pretty darn cool feeling playing golf, having like a really good drive where you can just kind of wide open fairway and then just really hit a lob wedge as hard as I could. And I barely got it over this bunker. It was like about 70 or so yards in and I two putted that. 11 is a strategy hole. I had never hit a ball this far on this hole, which made me feel good. I hit my three wood and I actually hit it out of the fairway. But the concept of this hole is that there's water to the right and you have to pick an angle you want to attack the green from. Since I went all the way past the fairway, I actually just could take a pitching wedge and go right at the green and not even have to worry about the forced carry or any of that. I just gave myself a great angle and hit a fairly solid miss and gave myself like a 10 footer. And I thought I made it, but it didn't go in. Thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video. This is a passion project and I'm just trying to do the best I can.